Morning guys, uh, so this morning I woke up a new weigh in low of uh, 156.8. Uh, my previous low was 157.6, so I'm down about a pound this week. Uh, and we're gonna try a new breakfast this morning, so the chocolate and sprinkle pancakes. So when you're dieting, you just want everything to be as colorful as possible, or I do anyway. Uh, so we added some sprinkles in the pancakes, and I'm gonna put some chocolate peanut butter on those. So I don't know if you guys know this little hack or not, but well, Robin was the one who showed it to me. Tear the scale with the peanut butter on it, and then take out what you want. So I want eight grams, so I'll just take it out until eight grams shows up. Eggs. And then on the side, I've also got Greek yogurt with mixed berries. So that's breakfast. The goals for this meet are just to maximize on my Wilkes. I uh, should be able to post a higher Wilkes score than I did at the Nova Scotia meet, just because I'm weighing about uh, seven pounds less. Yeah, about seven pounds less. And I don't think I've lost that much strength. And even if I did, I didn't lift at my full potential at the Nova Scotia meet. So my goal is to match the numbers, or at least match the total that I had at the Nova Scotia meet. If I don't quite do that, I'm not gonna be beat up about it or anything. Uh, as long as my wilk stays the same, or ideally it would improve. So on the barbecue, I'm gonna put on these now in a second. It's a extra lean beef burger patty and another salmon burger. These are uh, Zesty, zesty salmon burgers, uh, Jamie Oliver, and uh, these are what the macros look like on those. So I'm gonna have one salmon burger. Compliments white hamburger buns. They're really low calorie, uh, 110 calories in one bun. Garlic and herb, laughing cow cheese, and this stuff is delicious. If you haven't tried it, I'd highly recommend it. Uh, Fat-free Miracle Whip Greek yogurt. Um, as kind of like a sour cream substitute. Pizza, mozzarella. All right, so it's the day before the meet. Uh, it's about nine o'clock in the morning and I'm about to weigh. So guys, we're going to Walmart to get some goodies for the meet tomorrow with uh, Robin and Anar. No, but she's been wanting these for a long time. Where's the other, the Ritz cracker ones? Oh, look at these. Yeah, there's Ritz. I got I want, those, okay. but where's the... Ooh, look what I see. Ritz. I don't think I want to get those though. They make no, me kind of sick. Make you sick. Pretzels, powerlifting essential. Glacier cherry Gatorade. Gatorades were on four for five, so got Robin a couple G2s, myself a couple regular full sugar Gatorades. These are normal bars. Are you sure you want those if we got oh, these? Uh, yeah, I wanted the marshmallow ones. And the gram ones. But, those, but these Ooh. are the same thing, pretty much, except they, they're better. Yeah, that's true. Okay, go with those. But these are cheaper. Oh, wow. That should do it. The rest of the stuff we'll get uh, in Oromato. Yeah. All right. I love Captain Underpants books. And when I diet, I just get a random craving to read fiction. I don't want to. Let's see. Oh, I also really want to read this, and Robin keeps telling me not to buy it. But I read that first one, Mr. Mercedes. <laughs> Oh yeah, have some salts. So we may, uh, you know, I'm gonna probably cut a few pounds just because I'm trying to get my Wilkes as high as I can. So we'll fill up the bath with Epsom salts. Now we're getting Pedialyte, which... I'm gonna get the apple, because that's the only one left. So yeah, this is just like a baby's electrolyte solution to help babies who have like really bad diarrhea and also power lifters who it's cut weight. Constant. All right. It's all necessary. 
So we're just gonna grab a little bit of Froyo before we get on the road. So yeah, it's all about the colors like, when cutting. So I just estimate that on my fitness pal. I just go, yeah, Greek, because it's Greek honey yogurt, uh, 110 calories. And I'm gonna guess it's about 100 grams. I'm just gonna add 10 extra, eh, I'll go 15 extra carb macros just to account for the uh, strawberries, sprinkles, and so on. Mm. <laughs> Whoa, this is nice. Damn. So you've got the couch, the TV. Oh, there is a mini fridge, that's good. Yeah, we actually got the honeymoon suite, but it's a... Middle, yeah. <laughs> middle of nowhere hotel. Yeah. So. Super tired, we just drove for four hours, which I guess isn't that far, given what we're used to. Uh, meat day, gym bag essentials. So all the stuff you make, you want to make sure that you have with you on meat day. Uh, so first and foremost, the basic stuff. Uh, you want to make sure that you have your uh, card of the organization that you compete in. So for me, it's the CPU, your singlet. Uh, so for me, that's basic ends are blue. If you wear knee sleeves, you want to make sure you have those. I wear the SBD large, even though uh, I should be wearing a medium now because I've lost a bit of weight. So those are actually pretty loose on me, but they did fit when I was uh, about 10 pounds heavier. Uh, you'll want some knee-high socks. So I have the SBD deadlift socks. Uh, you'll want a pair of those. I bring a extra pair of socks just in case, like, I don't know, those get uh, wet or something. Uh, I also bring a pair of just regular socks because I don't like to wear the deadlift socks when I squat. So I'll bring just like a regular pair of black socks to wear when I squat and bench. And underwear, uh, if you're a dude, you have to make sure you have like tidy whities or something that basically doesn't have any part of a, like a pant or anything. So then if you have a belt, you'll want to bring that. So for me, I have the Inzer 10 millimeter forever lever belt. Uh, that's I think medium. So I squat in the Adidas power lifts. Um, Ideally, I would probably go with uh, a shoe with uh, a little bit more of a solid heel than these. I find that these do tend to sink just a little bit. Uh, and they're also not quite as tight of a fit as I'd like, ideally. But they've done the trick. I've squat up to 500 pounds and meet with these. So um, I'm gonna continue to roll with those. And then for deadlifts, I just uh, kick it old school with my uh, Converse. Chucks. So uh, I wear these when I bench too. Um, then you'll also want to make sure that you have a clipboard or something that you can use to record your uh, meet attempts with. So, so ranges set up for openers, second and third attempts, depending on how warm ups go, right? You don't want to have everything set in stone. It's a good idea to have some numbers written down, especially if you're not familiar with kilograms. So you can make your attempt selections fairly quickly um, because after you complete a lift, as many of you guys probably know, you only have one minute to get your next attempt submitted. You wanna make sure that you have a good handle on what potential numbers you're looking at. You want to make sure that you have a phone charger. If you have your music on your phone or if you wanna like post something or whatever, uh, it's annoying if your phone dies, obviously. And it's also a good idea to have some money on hand. So I actually have a fancy little phone slot where I can uh, you know, keep my credit cards and all that kind of stuff. If you have any like aches or pains, I just have, this stuff is uh, pretty mild, but it's Rub A535. Uh, Tiger Bomb is something that's a little bit stronger, or I've used Voltaren in the past too. I don't notice a huge difference between Voltaren and uh, A535. And then also Advil or ibuprofen went to the drugstore and got some basic caffeine and hydrus tabs, so those are good. Uh, headphones, of course. Um, also a good idea to have gum or some mints. 
uh, just in case you have to cut weight. So if you're bordering on a weight class, they'll spit in a cup. And if you've cut water, it's really, really hard to get any salivary flow going. So uh, chewing some gum or having a mint in your mouth, it's a really good way to stimulate some uh, saliva flow. And you can actually drop a little bit of weight like this. I, mean, I wouldn't rely on it, but it's always a good idea to have some of that handy. Be surprised how many people go to meets and don't have pens and they can't write down their attempts on their attempt tickets. With a foam roller or if you use a lacrosse ball or whatever to work out any knots. It's always a good idea also to actually do a physical checklist before you go to a meet. And of course, how could I forget, um, it's a good idea to have snacks. We actually have those out in the car. It's baby powder, so people will often put baby powder on their thighs uh, when they do a deadlift so that the bar doesn't kind of get caught up on your skin. So just rub some baby powder on your thighs. Um, another thing is Pedialyte, so if you are cutting water for a meet, uh, if you're going to be dehydrated, it's a good idea to replenish all of those electrolytes and fully a good idea to dilute that 50-50 with water. Uh, and Gatorade can work fine as well, uh, so we have Gatorade too. Is ammonia caps or nose torque? I don't actually use those. I smelled ammonia in the chem lab for many years in my undergrad and the smell is just intoxicating to me. I hate it. Uh, so I can't possibly see how that would psych me up before a big lift, so I just don't use it. Uh, but some people find that they get quite a buzz from that, so uh, that could be something that you might want to include in your uh, meat day gym bag as well. Alright guys, so I just weighed in at 70.25 kilos, so it's about 154.5 pounds. And now we're on our way into Tim Hortons to get some breakfast. Crash brown, coffee. A English muffin breakfast sandwich, two egg patties, turkey sausage, cheese, and Double Robin has the white. same thing, but egg white. And I have bran muffin. Mm -hmm. Gatorade's on deck. Come on, up, up, up! Easy. Nice.
Easy stuff for the big guy. 195, good lift. deadlifts didn't go exactly as I had hoped. I uh, missed my last attempt of 215 kilos, which is uh, 475 pounds, something I easily would have got probably, uh, you know, 10 pounds ago, but at this lighter body weight, I guess, um, your leverages tend to change, and I uh, just didn't have it in me on this day. So I finished with a better Wilkes than I got at the Nova Scotia meet uh, last month, I guess it was. Um, so I was really pleased with that, and uh, tied my all-time bench PR at any body weight of uh, 353, so I was pleased with that. And uh, squats went better than expected, and honestly, I didn't think that I would even have a chance to get a 430 Wilkes, uh, but it turns out I did have a go for it. The bar, the plates got off the ground, uh, but it just wasn't in the tank today. And so now, uh, this leaves me with a Wilkes 424, which is six points shy of the qualifying standard for the Arnold. So my options are either to try to get a nomination of some sort, or uh, compete again at Easterns, where uh, I'll be competing at a lighter body weight, so the goal would just be to maintain the strength I have now and get that 430 Wilkes 